Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Gunflex and Texan coming back with y'all with my first ever official, official range review of my 6.5 Grendel build. And I'm going to go through uh, everything up here that you see on the table from uh, the rifle itself, from the bipod targets, and how it actually shot today. Um, first of all, I want to say that this rifle perform it was just awesome today it was awesome i was excited today from the first shot it just tack driver tack driver i was shooting today i was shooting a hornady 123 grain sst for uh 6.5 grendel and i think right now uh that's what i'm going to shoot um as far as um uh, accuracy test or whatnot because I actually think it performed better than the Hornady Black 123 grain stuff so I'm going to stick with the SST round for now but um, starting from the first shot it just hit home it hit dead center and I couldn't say enough about this rifle uh, I can't say enough about this this optic right here this Vortex um, Diamondback Tactical 3 to 9 by 40. Uh, it did its job. Still easy to use. Uh, still held zero. And it's awesome. Um, so, like I say, it was performing up to my standards. And I'm very glad that I built this rifle. I'm extremely happy with it. Um, so, right out the box. From the first shot, this is what I start doing. If you can zoom in on that camera, man. This is what I start doing right here, right in the middle. I mean, at 100 yards, I'm not going to complain about that. And you do have those that might say, oh, you can get a tighter groove. But those are multiple shots through the same holes. Multiple shots through the same holes. I don't care what you say. In my book, that's pretty damn good. And then, you know, I did some other stuff over here, trying to group some stuff. Uh, down here, trying to group some stuff. And over here, trying to group some stuff. But overall, I was I was pretty pleased with it from the jump, from the first shot. Uh, and I had another target over here. Did same thing. I had uh, two boxes of uh, Hornady. SST and this is what it did. I mean, we had a couple of flyers or what I call these flyers over here Because it was pretty much hitting dead center right around in there and for that I'll take that all day. You can say what you want to I'll take that all day and this was up here was just Shooting it did whatever it did up here, but overall I was pretty um, Stoked about the 100, 123 grain SST out there uh, out of this rifle. Now, I want to get into uh, a couple of more things. Um, I had been contemplating on whether I was going to try to shoot some wolf ammunition out of my rifle. I'm not going to lie. I was skeptical. I was scared. But looking at uh, multiple reviews on this ammo... Uh, I decided to go ahead and, and give it a try. Uh, first of all, uh, some reassurance that I got from uh, one channel was uh, Tim from uh, the Military Arms channel. He always puts out great reviews on everything. And he did two really good reviews on uh, Wolf Ammunition out of uh, the AR-15 platform, which kind of eased my mind a little bit. Uh, so I was like, okay, well, maybe it is cool if he said it's cool and he shoots a lot more than I do If he said it's cool to run it through your rifle, then it's cool to run it through your rifle um, The next uh, channel that kind of reassured me that everything would be okay was um, Regular was it a regular? Training guy or something like that. I might be wrong about his name. No, regular guy training. Regular guy training. That's what the channel is. So he had a a wolf review also, a wolf ammo review. 
uh, he made a suggestion in there to put Lou on the inside of, of the receiver of the ramp. And that would take care of some people saying uh, it was failure to ejects or what have you. So he suggested put a couple of drops of oil, uh, cycle your boat a few times, and that should take care of it. So I did that before I, I went out to the range today. Put a couple of drops of oil in there, uh, racked it a few times, and I went out and shot. So when it was time for me to use the wolf ammo, from the first shot, it boom. I put 100 rounds through my rifle today with wolf ammo, and I am happy to say that this ammo right here ran flawlessly. I put 100 rounds through it. Now, that's not a lot of rounds. I know that. But it did 100 rounds flawlessly. You know, surprisingly, there were no um, light promise strikes, even though I have the uh, JP Enterprises reduced strings, uh, springs in here. There were no light primer strikes on this, which is I was anticipating that it would be because from what I've um, heard is that this ammunition has very hard primers. So I was kind of worried about that, but I had no light primer strikes. I had no failure to ejects whatsoever. This thing was spitting out these rounds, these casings, like, and I was just happy with it. So... I am now reassured that wolf ammo, that you can shoot wolf ammo without any issues. Uh, like, like the regular guy training said on his video, the only way you'll know is to go out and try your damn self. Don't listen to everybody. Quit listening to the naysayers and form your own opinion. Go out and try it. I tried it and I like it and I will be ordering more for uh practice purposes. Now, I also heard that it's not the most accurate, which I wasn't shooting it for accuracy. I was just firing it to see if it would cycle and all of that stuff through this rifle. Now, this is what I did with the Wolf Ammo right here. And this wasn't taking my time. This was actually um, kind of rapid fire. You know, 100 yards down range and as you can see, it did pretty well. I mean, you had some flyers here and there or whatnot, but that's to be expected. But overall, I mean, you really can't get any better than that. Let me turn it there. Oh, no. Is that it? Oh, whatever. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> but anyway, as you can see, it did its job. You know, like I say, I wasn't really doing it for accuracy, but as you can see, again, if you zoom in, cameraman, some of these holes are multiple hits through the same hole. Multiple hits through the same hole. And you really can't get in. I can't ask for any better than that. You know, I'm not trying to be a sniper. I'm not trying to get groups that are small as a damn uh, uh, pinpoint and all that crap. This right here is good enough for me if I decide I want to go hunting. Not with wolf ammo, but just hunting, period. This is good for me. This reassures me that wolf ammo can be a little bit accurate. But that does it for me, so that dispels that myth right there. This is also another target I had out there. Nothing but wolf ammo, as you can see. Had some flyers. Expected. Multiple shots through the same hole. Whatnot. And overall, a good day for wolf ammo. So Wolf Ammo gets a thumbs up from me. Um, as these other channels have said, if you're skeptical about using Wolf Ammo, try it for yourself first before you uh, just absolutely don't try it out. It's cheap, it's affordable, you can get it in bulk for cheap, and it's good for practicing, okay? It's not good to go out there to try to be pinpoint accurate, but it's good to... Just get out and get some rounds down range to get practice on your particular firearm. So, I like Wolf Ammo now. Um, there had been said that there were some issues about the ammo having a lacquer coating on it. Now, when I 
And I have some right here. And I just saved the box to kind of do this video with. The, the surface is slick. It is very slick, you know, but I don't know if that's lacquer or not. Actually, I don't know what, I don't know if it's polymer or not, but it is very slick. Now, I will show you that, uh, I don't know, I'll, I'll come up to the camera. Don't move the camera, man. I'll show you that it did leave some kind of residue here on the magazine, and I don't know if that's caused by lacquer or whatever have you, but it did, but it's not a problem. Not a problem for me, shouldn't be a problem for anybody else. And I don't know if you can see my hands. It kind of left a, a yellow tint on my hands from uh, loading up the rounds. I don't know if you all can see that. It got a yellowish tint on my fingertips, and I purposely didn't wash my hands so I could show you all that. But anyway, uh, wasn't a big deal for me. Shouldn't be a big deal for you. And go out and shoot wolf ammo through your firearm, rifle, or pistol. There's nothing to worry about. Now, moving on to magazine. Let me get the old trusty out of the way for a minute. Moving on to magazines. Uh, these are the two magazines that I first purchased. They are um, Elander magazines. I, I believe they're made by Alexander Arms for 6.5 Grendel. They're made in Israel. These things are stainless steel construction. Uh, got some kind of coating over them. Uh, to make them look shiny, make them look slick. Um, very well built, uh, strong feeling, and they work. Um, so when I was doing my build, I decided to get the um, most recommended magazines for this particular caliber, and it was these right here. And I'll say that they have performed flawlessly. I've had no problems out of these uh, magazines and I don't anticipate to have any problems now what I was skeptical about is using this uh, particular magazine here this is a AR stone okay these magazines cost about 19 20 bucks these magazines right here cost about 13 14 dollars on Midway USA all right, so I wanted to see for myself if all of the negative reviews that I read about this magazine was true because this is a, a bargain for me, okay? If I can get a magazine at a cheaper price and it does the same thing as this, I want to go with this. And I'm happy to say there's nothing wrong with these magazines. AR Stoner makes quality stuff. Once again, it's stainless steel, just like this right here. And you can feel that this is a little bit lighter for some reason than this. Maybe it's because of that coating that's on there, but this is kind of a, a matte, and this has some kind of coating over it. But as far as uh, the use out of this thing, I'm going to be ordering more of these than these. The reason being is because the ease of use. And what I mean by that is, these are really easier to load up than these are. These seem to be tighter, which is not a, a bad thing. This isn't loose by any means, but it's, it's easier to load up the rounds. And I will you know, try to do a little demonstration. Like with these right here, with the blue anti-tilt follower, this is a white anti-tilt follower. No different there, just an anti-tilt follower, just a different color. But it's easier to put these rounds in there in this one for some reason than it is with the Elanders. You know, I can put all 10 rounds in this one easier than I can with this one. 
And once these magazines get to six, seven rounds, they start to get tight. As you can see, I had to press down on that one right there. Now I'm getting on my fourth round. It's not a big deal, but if I can work easier, I want to work easier. I'm not going to work harder. And this is very well constructed, as you can hear. It's stainless steel. It's just easier to operate than this one is. So, I'm going to be ordering about three or four more of the AR stones. Not to say that these aren't great, man, because these are excellent mags. But if I can pay $13 as opposed to $19, dollars $20, I want to pay $13, $14. That's just the way I roll. That's how I like to do it. If you can do what you want to do, I won't pay $13. Anyway. Moving right along, uh, I purchased these uh, M-Lock bipods, uh, maybe about two weeks ago, by uh, UTG. UTG always makes quality products, I think. Some of them are really cheap. Some of them are hey, not really pricey, but cheaper than what you would normally get. But I'm happy to say that these things perform up to my standards today. As you can see, chamber's empty, no magazine in, everything is clear. These things are sturdy. I mean, very sturdy. And they're not going anywhere, and I I just like them. I like them a lot. Um, and I anticipate great usage out of them. I was shooting off of a uh, wooden platform today and these little rubber tips right here really dug into the wooden platform and this gun didn't move. It didn't move at all. Um, so I will be, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy with these. Um, they got the little tilt action to them. All you have to do is pull this down right here, pull them up, legs down right here and what have you is very well made like i say it's a m lock system so it's screwed into the the uh handrail the handguard it's not going anywhere it's very sturdy did the job today big up to utg i love utg products <clears throat> the one thing that i i haven't uh shown you all is the uh muzzle brake that i added on here the VG6 Gamma muzzle brake. This is my first time shooting with this thing on. It absolutely does what it advertises that it does or whatever it have you. It did what it's supposed to do today. The recoil on this thing was pretty much nothing. I was able to stay on target without any problem. And it just did what it's supposed to do. So I'm very happy with this right here. This VG6 Gamma, it's, it's by Aero Precision, if, if y'all didn't know that. Uh, I got this. These are normally $79, $89, sometimes $99, depending on what website you look on. Um, I got this off of, of a site called uh, B King's Arms, I think it is. I might be mistaken about that. I'll put that down in the in a in the description. But I got this at a very very good price. First of all, the site is uh, veteran owned, so I, I'm always going to support the veterans. And but I got this. I don't know if it was a sale. I I think it was a sale at the time. I got this particular muzzle brake for forty five bucks. Regular price, like I say, $79, $89, $99. I got it on sale for 45 bucks on bkingsarms.com. I think that's what it is. If I'm wrong, I'll correct it in down below. But that was all for my official range day with this thing. I put about 200 rounds through it. It ran flawlessly. I had I had one light promise strike with the uh, Hornady, but that's fine. That's fine. I don't care nothing about that. But overall, I'm happy with it, and I'm glad I, I built it. 
But moving forward, I'll be doing more reviews uh, over more products. And I hope you all stay tuned. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Once again, Gunflex and Texan, y'all be easy, be safe, peace.